So hive one at the end. Activity. A lot of light. Let's see if you can see how many bees are flying around this entrance faced this way. Those are all these bees. And they're in this top hive here. And you can see I'm wearing black, so it's not the best. So I'm going to back up so that they can have their flight orientation. I should get on my stomach. That's incredibly active. And all the bees in the air are mostly from that hive. And then its neighbor. Have the bees right in the corner coming in and out. Good population, but they're coming down from all the way up top. So they're all the way up top. And they're coming all the way down to get up. So I'd expect this traffic to be a little bit lower. Yeah, you can see them all across the entrance there. And then the next one to it is this one. These are occasionally coming out in and out of that one. Not many. And then that one there. I actually have a propolis curtain on this side. But you can see the one little bee in the entrance there. Oh, it just wants to focus on my finger. But over there is less activity, so I can actually get a little bit closer. Still stable on the flight path, but you can see. Or maybe not. Yeah, he's coming in and out. Oh, the mouse guard. But. Back in the back, there's actually a curtain of propolis, which I think is pretty cool. And then that one there. That one was the swarm that I caught. That was the giant swarm that I walked in, I do believe. That was a very good population. Very little dead drop here. And then all around. There's a little bit here. You can see just trailing. There's quite a bit here. But I think because they had higher winter die off. Because this hive here was a little less mature. But still. Lots and lots of bees at the entrance. Hanging out, chilling. Very good, very nice. And then this one here. There's a bee there, there's a bee there. There's a bee right there. And they're coming in and out of this one here. And that one there, actually. If I'm not mistaken, has no screen, has a screened bottom. So that hive actually does not have any bottom insulation. So when it was super cold outside, that hive there didn't have anything. This is more of a, more or less an experiment hive. It's two mediums. The top was good solid honey, the bottom was honey, and eh, a good amount of brood. Let's see if I can get close to this one, because she's a little bit cooler. You can see what it looks like underneath. I'll review this later. Phone won't fit. Oh yes, very good. Probably playing with a lion at this point. Oh yes, all the shiny activity. Ah, this makes a beekeeper super happy.